All right. This is bizarre to me. And I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison and make it very clear. There is not one of these four that I think is any less shady than her. Supposed to be a mental health care professional. First thing she does is come out and she screams, Suicide! He was depressed. Um, if you do have depression and you have issue, issues and you are talking to somebody like this, get new help. Seriously. This is not the kind of health care professional that a person should be having. Life coach, supposed to be highly respected, highly regarded. Um, everything about her raises more questions. Where was she in 2015? I don't know her. And people think that I dislike these people. I don't know these people. But what I don't like is their character. I don't like the way they handle themselves. And I don't like the... Now that there's a TV special, let's jump back into the middle of everything. You don't have to agree with me. But you look at any investigation. The very first people that are looked at is those closest to the person. I would say Susan was less likely to be as looked at as this one. Lo and behold, this guy kind of has a God complex, thinks he's some kind of uh, shaman, gonna shake beads and rattle feathers and cure it all. All right, whatever, if you want to fall for it, cool. Personally, yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna piss my money away on something like that and then this one could have gave two shits about her store getting broke in but she was ready to push the idea of how karma and the spirits were cleansing the store dust your goddamn blinds and you won't have that kind of problem trust me I'm single father I have to clean my own house, and I have three dogs. Guess what? Dust is a serious issue. You can dust and watch that shit settle, but hey, that's beside the point. And it's a never-ending job. But if you're running a business, wouldn't you want your business to be a little bit clean? Then you have Kenny. If he had mental issues... After looking at the ones closest to him, the one I feel sorry for is his daughter and his grandchild. I mean, seriously, I really do not. I think his daughter is an innocent victim in this, whether Kenny be alive, whether he be dead. Now, let's get to the moral of the story. Veach Family Reactions to Missing Family Member, 2014. Um, Bigfooty.com, Mystery Disappearance of Kenny Veach. Family members react to tragic shooting of their nine-year-old. They shouldn't have to. 
What we need to do is quit cutting the balls off little boys, put them out behind the gym, let them duke it out and figure out they can take an ass kicking, there's no shame in it, and then you don't have a carload of kids driving around shooting at each other. But, hey, that is what it is. There's no shame in a black eye. You fight for it, you earn it. Fifty years ago, eight-year-old Patricia Ann Veach. I don't know if there's any connection. The name jumped out at me. Um, I'm sure seeing a hell of a lot of pleas and cries for help. Aren't all you guys? I mean, look at all these headlines. Veach family crying and desperate for an answer to the loss of their loved one. Where's it at? Huh. Holy shit. Hell of a lot of, uh, headlines there, ain't there? Not one Veach family seeks answers. Not one. I can scroll all goddamn day and guess what? Not one. Daniel Robinson. This kid went missing June 23rd, 2021. He was, uh, what, uh, God, I don't know actually what he did. I think he was some kind of a geologist or something like that from South Carolina. And he, a uh, field geologist. Daniel Robinson, 24, vanished on June 23rd after leaving a work site in Buckeye, Arizona. Robinson family. Nothing about the disappearance of Daniel Robinson seems to make, uh, seems to make much sense. Family. His dad is... Just a minute. Let me see if I can find this. Um, his dad has pretty much exhausted all their family resources going from South Carolina out to Arizona organizing searches. Two, he, he has two searches a month to look for his son. And you're going to tell me that where'd it go? Right there. These are poor I mean I feel sorry for him because they have a loved one that's missing. What pisses me off is their character and their actions when Kenny went missing. Oh, what the hell? What'd I do? I'll tell you what. If I had a family member that went missing, I am going to take this route Uh, you want to see images? Let's see. Oh, fuck. Alright, let's go back. This is Fox 10. Here's Daniel. Good kid. Went to school, knew what he wanted to do, got a job, and loved it. Personally, I kind of wonder if he didn't come across cartel. I'm not sure where Buckeye is. Here's his Jeep 
it was rolled. The weird thing is, he had survival gear, he had water. Everything was left in there, but he was gone. I feel sorry for this kid's dad. His dad, well, Christ, his whole family is, but his dad, um, um, Robinson was last seen June 2021, just outside of Buckeye. His father, David, and volunteers have had held dozens, have held dozens of searches over the past six months. On December 12th, David said he's expanding the search to neighboring communities, including Goodyear, Buc uh, Buckeye, and Phoenix. What keeps me hopeful is the fact that we do not, or we don't know what happened out there in the desert. And then you know there may be a way or a reason that my son is not there at all. So that gives me hope. Where can I go to expand the search out? farther than the desert itself, David said. And this guy was met with resistance from sheriff's departments. I think they went out, rode around for a couple of days. Oh, nothing here. But his family refuses to let it go. His dad goes on YouTube to some of the true crime channels and does interviews. He updates people. He does everything he can to get the words out. That way, any I mean, the picture is out there. That way, you know, you see his picture and, you know, it's like, hey, wait a minute. That kid looks familiar. He was born with a deformed arm. There's two identifiers right there. You see a black kid with a deformed arm, and you're going to do a double take, providing that you've seen this story. But, when you come to this, let's hide and not say jack shit. Oh, wait a minute. Here in a couple of months, there's a TV special. So, a couple of days right after the TV special, let's release Kenny's return hike that I magically found on his camera. But yet there's more footage, there's more video or uh, pictures that she may, at her leisure, put out. Out of all of these people, the one I think is the less suspect is... Um, Susan, these two, they're shady as hell as far as I'm concerned. She's just the least shady. So, you know, if you don't like that I look at these people and ask questions about them, maybe you ought to do the same thing. Why wait seven years, seven years to magically jump back in. Oh, we don't want you searching for him. Is that because you know where he's at and he's alive? Connection to two missing people. Whether you believe Kenny and Eric are the same person, that's on you, not me. She has ties to two people. One, she tells, you're not going to do a Robin Williams, are you? Another one, she tells, you ain't going to do a Kenny on me, are you? But yet, she's some kind of mental health guru. She's not to be on a pedestal. This lady needs to be put under a microscope in every aspect of her life, turned over, gone through. That's all there is to it. In the same token, you know, I think she cared about Kenny. And I think she's probably sad that he's missing. Unless he's alive and she knows where he's at. Um, I think she was married to Kenny's older brother, Tom, or something like that. Um... 
jilted lover, scorned lover, divorced, kicked out of the clan, whatever. The only person that thinks that Kenny is alive from a shitty store security video. I believe she has the le uh, least amount of dog in the fight. Crystals. Huh. What is it about these guys and crystals? Self-proclaimed medicine man. Due to his grandmother's Cherokee roots. My great-grandmother was full-blooded Blackfoot Indian. So what? Frosted flake right here, if you ask me. But, we got the voodoo store. Crystals. Skulls. Huh, where have we seen skulls before? Or... We have a kid that his family is going through hell trying to find him. I respect this kid's dad. His dad is doing everything, fighting an uphill battle all the way. Why isn't there anybody raising hell for this kid's dad, David? I guarantee you, if one of my kids went missing, I would be this dad. I'm not going to wait for a TV special to come out. I damn sure ain't going to be telling my kids, you ain't going to do a Robin Williams, are you? You can like the family, you can have empathy for the family, and trust me, just because I sound like a hard ass, it is their actions that make me sound like a hard ass. You don't hear me ragging on this guy at all. This kid's dad is out there doing everything he can organizing searches when he's not organizing a search and he's going home or he's taking a break he goes back to uh, yeah South Carolina to spend time with his family and he has full support of his family trying to find his son so you can like my aspect on the Veaches and the way they handled it. You don't have to like it. You can do whatever you want with it. But if you have a loved one, a family member, go missing, ask yourself, what are you going to do? Are you going to be David? Are you going to be the headline news crew? Ask yourself. Later.